I have determined that the item in placed in front of me is a vial. The vial is predominantly made of glass. It also has a metal stopper on top. Adam? Yes? The contents of the vial, please. Of course. One second. I'm going to look into the contents of the vial. <laughs> okay. That, that would be a medicine roll at three. So, we gas them. That's probably a good idea. I mean, they're expecting that way we don't have to attack. deal with their armor. Their emissaries as well. After all, emissaries, they normally only come in like groups of actual soldiers of five. The rest are normally quote unquote diplomats, you understand? Yeah, I like this. Oh, so why isn't my password working? She says as she's fiddling with the box. Your memory uh. must be failing you in your old age. <laughs> she picks up a spanner next to her and tosses it towards you, but she idly does it so you can dodge it. It's like. <laughs> I thought. Uh, anyway. My point being, if we take them out like that, I'm sure we could, uh, get them to fly away. After all, according to Intel, they do have a hopper on board. They should be able to just, well, go back to wherever they came from. As yeah, this, the, the as important this thing is we can't kill all of them off. We want to make sure at least one of them gets the message to go back and say, maybe don't try this again. True, true. Yeah, I like this idea. It would take some planning and getting everything together, but yeah, we have some time until they come anyway. So, if you're up for it, it will be a job that can set you on the right track. And pay me back. And after all, I am uh, quite good at what I do, and having me on your good side is the best thing possible. Ain't no idea. Yeah, sure. Why not? You changed your password on this, didn't you? Whatever gave you that impression. You looked inside my box. She's glaring at you. She's just glaring at you. She opens it and checks on it. It's like, yeah, this is what I was gonna sell. Fair enough. She closes. You were it gonna right sell now. that thing? Ah, yes. Uh, modern weaponry isn't really my thing. You know, I'm more shotguns, swords, punching. Well, uh, if I could uh, enlighten you a little bit, that there is actually a uh, prototype of a uh, weapon design that I was working on back when I worked at Omni, so that's probably a lot more valuable than you might give it credit for. Wait, you build this? This was stolen from a uh, Omni showcase, but you built it? Well, I uh, helped build it, yeah. So, your name's Jefferson? Jefferson, you say? Yeah. I mean, that's what the document said about this. That fucking rat bastard. Uh, he may have uh, attached his name to it after I was fired, but rest assured, this was my pet project. Looking to you, she... She almost like instantly believes you, as if yeah, companies assholes. I thought you were a car mechanic. Be. What gives? That's where the money is around here. People don't really want high tech weapons. They nobody here can afford that shit. <laughs> oh, I Fair see. Enough, I guess. So, Ruben's like, so I, so you're kind of. He's chewed up and spit out my system just like the rest of us, huh? Yeah, that about sums it up. As if, like, understanding nod, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's getting late, so... Well, I've been crashing in your bed since uh, I came here. I'll stay in a car. You stay in the car too, she says towards Logan. 
I'm a, I'm a gentleman. You can use the bed. I'll crash in uh, the van that we just got. Oh my. This is a first. Why don't you act like more like this? She says towards you, Logan. <clears throat> After all, I am a lady. She says, not lady-like at all. Lady my ass, that chair nearly fucking killed me. <laughs> well, I thank you. I use the bed for now then, and everybody can get a good night's rest. Get ready to prepare for the upcoming job. Don't worry. If Caleb's plan goes uh, according to it, then we won't have to kill a single person. As we're, uh, as we're kind of doing it, Ruben, like, puts a moistened towelette on Eddie's forehead and he goes, And you'll make a full recovery. He reaches into his medipack. Here's a lollipop, champ. You can hear him go, uh, thanks, dude. And then he actually puts it in his mouth, like, oh, sugar, food. <laughs> <laughs> and I think if everybody's gonna be going to bed, is there anything anybody wish to do before the end of the session? Um, Ruben is gonna, like, fish for like a bowl or like a big bowl or like a fish tank or something and he's gonna find a place to put the purifier bot just like here you go just for now temporary here's some water for you to to mull on <laughs> you can you can easily find like a 20 credits uh fish tank <laughs> like a, just a glass box that you can sit in is like um, yeah this is what i'm talking about real quick from uh, the weapons that we recovered uh, apart from if somebody wants to keep something uh, for themselves, I'm assuming that uh, the rest were gonna be selling off, right? I'm... I, I'm keeping the... or I guess I would say, Ruben would like to take all of the sword wings and inspect them, but after giving kind of like the javelins a quick run over, he's not really particular on keeping those. What about you, Caleb? Well, uh... Depending on uh, what the ruling would be on this, because I'm not sure how different they are in terms of their own stats, but uh, I did, over the break from the last session, uh, buy a uh, blade that is like a punch blade thing hidden in my suit. If I could upgrade the blade with that somehow, that'd be interesting. Right. So upgrade the punch blade with biometal. Yes, if it's at all possible. So, for the rest of the stuff that uh, nobody wants to use personally, I'm gonna say that since uh, Integra specializes in you know, selling and pouring off weapons, I'm gonna say that she can keep one of the weapons uh, for herself as uh, her fee and uh, give the other weapons for her to pawn off and get us some cash. Alright, you can make a list for me to sell with uh, midweek, and Integra will sell that off for you. Yeah. Despite how angry she is with you. Hey, like I said, her fee is one of the weapons. She likes swords, so she can have a bone sword. <laughs> well, she's a bit concerned about it being an azure beast sword. I mean, I don't know what she would be concerned about. I mean, aren't, isn't that her natural prey? But th then again, you may not heard Ruben. Ruben wants to keep the Azure Beast blades, but the javelins like can be taken. Oh, I thought he just wanted to inspect them. Oh, well, well, I, I mean, as no, there's the blades, the javelins, and the wings. The wing arms. The yeah, wing arms are the blades. Oh, okay. It's just their feathers on the wing arms can also be used as like basically a dagger sized, but the massive blades. Oh are well, blade we have sized. we have enough redundancy as long as I have like enough samples. Like mm -hmm. doesn't mind, mind handing it out. It's just yeah, he wants a little. He wants like at least like two or three different or two samples of each, basically like two small and two large. So, Doc, you think if you got a decent-sized genetic sample out of this, you'd be able to have some kind of controlled mutation if we had just, like, a regular patch of leather? Uh, I mean, I'd have to, I'd have to run a lot of tests. This is something that, you know, we'd never pick up in, in uh, the notes I have about Azure Notations back at the Academy, but um, we could... We could see what we could come up with. I at least want to 
I I'm kind of trying to develop an understanding of these Azura Beasts, so at least to help us fight them, maybe. We could try to find some other ways they could be applied. We'll have to find out. I, yeah, I mean, uh, I know not uh, everybody is willing to, uh, as that guy did, eat Azure Beasts in order to gain their strengths, but uh, certainly if equipment could be made out of them that wouldn't be highly radioactive, that would certainly aid in the fight. Absolutely. We'll have to, we'll have to collaborate you know, on that. I just need, I just need a proper uh, testing site. I still haven't uh, set my own kind of science wing here. I'd like to investigate the properties of this material and, you know, Another see what we can make is, out of it. Uh, I'll contact Ruski and tell him all the information that we managed to. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, contact him and give him all the information about um, the anomaly and how the issue was resolved. I'm assuming that that kind of information is obviously paid, right? Because that's like fixer information. Yep. Oh, and presumably we have a hopper of our own up on the roof now. So what is the... I'm um, probably because I don't remember. What is the hopper? Is it like a flying thing or what does it do? It's, basic, it's basically like a flying vehicle that can fit a few people into it. Like basically fit five people into it and fly, like you fly off. It's basically like a small helicopter sort of deal. Think of um, a VTOL, like its wings are helicopter blades, it goes up and you go forwards. Not bad. It can fit four people and some luggage. So, so about... it's kind of like your van, but flies. So, about that information, how much uh, cash would we get for that? Uh, which information was it for? For the anomaly. Oh, for like reporting the anomaly and stuff? Yeah, everything that happened, how it was resolved, stuff like that. About the room with the mass grave, about what the uh, person did. Essentially, for the Hunters Association, I would say you would get around about two and a half grand for it. Nice. Let's split that up. Is that something that they'd want us to keep under wraps, or...? Well, anomalies are uh, a phenomenon that people know of. They don't want you to keep it under wraps, really. So everybody gets... Uh, panic. <laughs> everybody gets 500, apart from Caleb, who gets 1,000 because he's in charge of Adam. That thing fell off the table. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I'll have to see about making some upgrades to his uh, uh, robot body. Ah, oh, getting upgrades. Actually, if we can get some of that, uh, obviously that's going to take some time, but if we could get some of that uh, leather material that I'm thinking about, uh, that'd make for a good armor on that thing since it's designed to be fast and agile yeah i have all the i still have the azure leather and everything <laughs> we, are we just gonna like make we're just basically gonna taxidermize this cat skeleton to make it look like an actual cat sounds about right yeah <laughs> People will think it's an actual Azure beast. It's just a droid dressed up like one. I mean, that would be pretty cool. I would. <laughs> Is it just a, just attached for shit to them? It's totally fine. Okay, so um, Adam is uh, probably you know on a rack somewhere, I assume. Probably hanging up uh, in the workshop somewhere. Somewhere he can easily get plugged into the local network. Okay, um, you said they had a land ship, and I've been told by my administrator that, you know, that this is bad people and that I should disable this land vehicle in some way. Yes. Um, does it have any specs? Like, is it based on any one particular vehicle? Like a model that might have an inherent weakness of some sort? It is a wheeled land ship, so unlike the track type, it can be well, disabled by taking out one of the axles, while tracks are normally, well, 
they're well, much yeah. harder to take down in that respect. Mm. Basically, it was once a commercial type of land ship. The same type of uh, entrepreneurial type thing that the air the airship from before tried to do but end up crashing which we others would know since they don't tend to work out well hence nobody flies from city to city <laughs> right. Ooh, actually you know that kind of gives me an idea if it does have an electronics locking system if you could hack into that you could keep the uh, back area locked up where no, most of the like soldiers that, are going to be if you can get Adam, you know, into their computers, I assume, since it's a, you know, a line ship, it probably has that, I could maybe fuck with their machinery. I assume like a modern car, they've got tons of, you know, electrical parts as well. Might be able to turn off the engines or lock the doors or turn on the alarm to annoy them. If it's got weapons, I might be able to take control, but... I don't think it's got wireless. Maybe it has wireless. Does it have wireless? Do we know of the Normally, being like high tech guys, like the humanists? The humanists tend to favor more combustion sort of engines. So Azure is very low on their priority apart from boosting the power of fuel. So you're not going to find some super high tech laser weaponry. But they are quite famous for stuff like explosives, uh, TNT, and having more armor. So basically, instead of, oh, we have this high-tech material, they just slap more plates of iron onto their armor, so they're bulky. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking it's like a modern-day car, you know? They, they would have at least some, you know, oh, automated for... fuel injection or computer-controlled fuel injection, stuff like that. For the land ship, you would know that such commercial land ships, these are, this is just basic information you found on it, is the most commercial land ships that they have is essentially basically a giant ass car. It can handle quite a lot and carry a lot, but essentially it is just a car. It is a weak outer shell. After so all, if, it's, were... if it's not a well I'm, I'm assuming they probably modified it but if it's not super heavily armored maybe putting explosives in the road to disable it is a bad idea since we're trying not to kill all of them you would definitely destroy a good portion of this land ship probably with if you use uh, explosives you have if I think you're going to use explosives is there a way to set up some kind of remote detonation? So that maybe we can try to, like, detonate it slightly early, maybe just try to topple the car? Well, it is plastic explosive, so it would, by nature, have to have a remote detonator. I'd say, like, if, you, if you're if you careful, you could just, like... Are we trying to disable the car, or are we trying to... We're not trying to destroy the car and kill everybody inside. Yeah, we're just trying to disable it. We want to send them a message. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you'd have the ability to just, like, detonate it early, blow their front tires off or something. Mm -hmm. If you if you wait until the car's parked on top of it, you'll probably absolutely eviscerate them, but... <laughs> we could also not use all of the explosives at once, too. That's a thing to bear in mind, just just enough to give them a good pop under the, the front part of the car. Yeah. I mean... <clears throat> Actually, how about we take this in character? That makes a lot more sense. Administrator. Here. Could you please specify the mission parameters? Are we to disable the vehicle? Are we to disable its inhabitants? Please note, the Adam unit is not designed for combat. Adam is bound by love protocols, which prohibits the injuring of other human beings. Well, the idea was we're going to disable the vehicle, kind of keep the, all the uh, their bodyguards trapped in the back by maybe welding the door shut or something in a hurry, and then pump the vehicle full of some kind of knockout gas. I guess that's... That's probably 
I should go searching for some kind of narcotic narcotics or something like that that I convert into gas. If you were thinking about something like gas, um, you would probably have to make it from scratch using your chemistry knowledge, but you would need somewhere to use it. I guess we we presume that I bought a chemistry set. Oh, give me a moment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're paging him. He's a doctor after all. Yeah, exactly. It's one of his patients. Yeah. I guess I'll just, uh... Ruben will... Probably, uh, try to prepare. I'm not sure. I think I have all kinds of stuff in my medicine kit already. I just gotta grab things. Hmm. Um, right. We need a delivery system in that case. Um, do we have a delivery or... Administrator, I have reviewed the necessary or your proposed plans and I've found a fundamental flaw in their function. Would you like me to address it? Sure, give me what you got. Would you like me to address the other 467 fundamental issues with our current predicament as well? Maybe hold off on those, tackle one problem at a time. Confirmed. Booting up relevant data storage. One second. We do not have a sufficiently advanced delivery system to ensure full knockout of all inhabitants inside primary land vehicle. An explosive might be capable of disabling the primary function of the vehicle. However, its inhabitants will still be fully functional. The knockout gas needs to be effectively delivered before the inhabitants have a chance to open windows. Roll out of the way. Put on potential protective gear. Let's see. Um, Adam, roll education and Caleb, if you want to roll your medicine, uh, but your medicine will be at a, uh, let's say, three. There's three difficulty purple dice and see what you get. May, may I help? <laughs> no, that's what I mean. You, Ruben, you Did roll you medicine. Did you just mistake Ruben and Caleb? Oh. How dare you? How could you do such a thing? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> okay, so Adam, you go over the specs one more time, and when you're going over the specs, you do see two weaknesses of this model. Number one, it's mainly a front drive system, while it, it is commonly modified, the base model is front drive, so if you take out the front axle, it's possible that it will stop dead in its tracks. There is also a rather advanced uh, air filtering system that takes in air from the vent but the filter itself is quite near the vent so the filter isn't based inside it's slightly outside could i hack the vent or the filtration system if it's advanced enough you could it is on a uh, as long as you can get next to the vehicle and plug yourself in, it is possible. Could I send the drone in? If they distract everyone, could I, you know, conceivably use the drone to upload myself or link into it? Yes. As long okay. as you... Because your drone does have its tail, which is also a... Yeah, yeah, uh, plug, in. plug in. Yes. All right. Administrator. Oh, yes, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to mention... Meanwhile, Ruben, you do discover that you could make uh, a gas, but it's very, how I say, still. So combining that with Adam's knowledge, you would need a vent in order for it to be effective. Administrator, I have reviewed the landship in NATO, or the landship in specifics. One moment, booting out necessary graphics. Behold, the landship. <clears throat> Volkswagen number 45674. Landship. Primary function. Transportation. And he's going to start listing off its specs. Very slowly and dryly. Yeah, alright. If you got a point, I'm ready to hear. Of course, Administrator. Its primary drive system is located here. Notice, it's a four wheel, or it's not a four wheel model. This is one of the reasons these particular landships never became popular in the wastelands. 
A simple explosive concussion force located here will disable its primary drive systems. This will leave it dead. Secondly, observe its air filtration system is incredibly robust. This means that any direct aerial assault uh, or <clears throat> aerially dissolved gas will fail unless it is disabled or utilized to spread the gas. If you are able to get my drone body nearby, I should be able to override it. Of course, I would like to address the fact that the gas should not contain any lethal substances, or the inhabitants inside might be severely injured. That would be detrimental to my primary functions. Ruben's yeah, we're trying to avoid like, that. Ruben's just working on a concoction, never considered making it lethal. <laughs> He's a good boy. Once we have knocked out the inhabitants, I will be able to reverse the airflow, thus ensuring that no gas remains inside for prolonged periods of time. This would also lead to possible side effects for the inhabitants. You should then move in, and you will be able to claim the vehicle. This concludes my report. Would you like to know more about the Volkswagen Model 4 Never 764741? Landship model. Remind me later. Noted. Please be advised that you have 2,416 pending notices. Ruben. I am so duly noted. Ruben kind of like walks into the room. He has a, a small vial of what appears to be clear liquid. I believe this is what we're looking for. Uh, Adam, if you would. And he just like sets it down in front of Adam and lets him look at it. One moment. Um, I'm going to scan the, the can. Is it indeed a can? It is like a, an annual like vial. It, it's like a vial, but there is a piece of stainless steel screwed on top. Hmm. Yes. I assume this would be an education roll. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. It, this indeed appears to be a vial. This Adam oh. scans this vial in depth, and then he's gonna chirp. I have determined that the item in placed in front of me is a vial. The vial is predominantly made of glass. It also has a metal stopper on top. Adam? Yes. The contents of the vial, please. Of course. One second. I'm going to look into the contents of the vial. <laughs> okay. That, that would be a medicine roll at free. <laughs> uh, I, I assumed so. <laughs> but I have determined basically, that it's a vial. Basically, I'm just like, Ruben is confident that he did this right, but he's never kind of intentionally made something like this before, so he wants somebody ah. else to take a look into it. This, while it's still in its liquid form, is a basically a well and a basically a knockout drug think of it like uh, essentially what he's made is an illegal date rape drug out of it but can be turned into a gaseous form i'm sorry i was yawning did you say date rape drug in this world this would be commonly used as a date rape drug but he's basically used it as a sort of knockout gas it's a good thing i'm yeah. not there because i would question why ruben can make shit like that he's a doctor <laughs> uh-huh look i know how to i know how to put somebody i know how to put every single one of your muscles to sleep with drugs i mean you kind of have to it's hard to operate on people while they're awake yeah it's intriguing this appears to be a three quill dirian benesine qnb or a 1-ACA Michael 2.2.2 Oxygen 3 while hydrofolium DSN asset. US Army Code EA 2277, NATO Code B4, Ancient Soviet Code Substance 78, an orderless primary military incapacitation agent, also commonly used as a less savory method, or <clears throat> also commonly used as date drug or rape drug. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, I found this and thought it might be useful for us, but I've never 
try I've never gone through the effort of trying to make it into a stable liquid form like this. Like would this is this stable enough to be put into the filtration system? Likely. B or BZ is odorless and is stable in most solvents. BC affects both the prof or proliferatory or <coughs> peripheral nervous system and inhabits glandular secretion, leading to dry mouth and foul breath. Contagious vasodilation and skin flushing may also be noted due to the decreased capillary tone. Hypothermia is due to the elevated bronchi uh, temperature is also a secondary to the inhibition of sweating and the inability to dissipate heat. Vision loss is also a common accommodation, as reflexes and decreased depth of field is a secondary to the ciliary and muscle paralysis and mydrisis. I like you, Adam. That's good info. Out of character, Nero, you really should consider voicing some of the electronical manuals. You should absolutely get into that. I feel like there's a market for your voice. I'd listen to any electronical uh, manual that you're voicing. I was just... The reason why I had to duck out earlier was because I was arguing with Alexa. 